So he'll, he'll make a, a song with Jesus. Yeah. Throw the name Jesus in there and still. Right. <laughs> it's, right. the, the, it's, it's, it's the Snoop bounce. It's the sno <laughs> no, no, no steps in particular. No. It's just the Snoop bounce. That's right. The bounce is telling you, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, I'm the devil. I'm the devil. By Donnie McClurpin, Kirk Franklin. I got the Clark says I can name all these legends, Rance Allen, these are elders and legends in the game. If they don't have a problem with it, you shouldn't either. Nah. And if you do, what's happening? Yeah, I said it. Gino Jennings boldly addresses the controversy swirling around Snoop Dogg, shedding light on the rapper's claim to be a Christian despite his continued embrace of a sinful lifestyle. With passion and conviction, Jennings stands as a beacon of truth, calling out hypocrisy and challenging individuals to align their beliefs with their actions. In a powerful public declaration, Jennings fearlessly confronts the disconnect between Snoop Dogg's professed faith and his public behavior. With unwavering resolve, he emphasizes the importance of authenticity and integrity in one's spiritual journey, urging Snoop Dogg and others to embrace a lifestyle that truly reflects their professed beliefs. Ready to call somebody a Christian because they use the name Jesus. Amen. Snoop Dogg, now I'm talking about something. I'm, I'm one of Jesus' chosen ones. Liar! That's a lie. How in the world you one of Jesus' chosen ones that got your own porn? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Got your own porn, making your own porn tapes, still smoking your weed? Still smoking. Mm. I, I want to, so he'll, he'll make a, a song with Jesus. Yeah. Throw the name Jesus in there and still. That's right. The, the, it, it's, it's, it's the Snoop bounce. It's the Snoop bounce. <laughs> No, no, no steps in particular. No. It's just a Snoop bounce. That's right. The bounce is telling you, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, I'm the devil. Through his impassioned words, Jennings sparks a conversation that reverberates far beyond the confines of social media or entertainment circles. He ignites a flame of accountability, challenging society to reevaluate its standards and expectations for those who claim to follow a religious path. Jennings' message resonates with listeners around the world, inspiring introspection and encouraging individuals to strive for genuine transformation. His call to action transcends mere criticism, offering a path toward redemption and renewal for all who are willing to heed his words. Despite Gino Jennings' unwavering stance, there are those, including Snoop Dogg and many others, who vehemently disagree with what he teaches. They argue that the fundamental principle of the Christian doctrine is to come as you are, emphasizing acceptance and inclusion over condemnation and judgment. What do you say to people that don't like the idea of a secular artist coming into gospel music? Well, the devil is a lie. I thought church was supposed to welcome sinners. And if the church was full of saints, it wouldn't be right. So if you find somebody trying to find their way back home, the natural thing to do is to be warm, welcoming, open your arms and say, brother, we accept you for who you are and what you're going through. Come as you are. We know you've been doing wrong and you want to get right, so we're going to help you get right. We're not going to throw stones on you when you're trying to get right and walking back into the church house. That's what's running people away from church right now as we speak, and we're trying to get people back in church with a different perspective of come as you are, show love. It has no perspective on nothing but love. We show love, we give love. Snoop Dogg and his supporters assert that the Christian church should embrace individuals regardless of their flaws or shortcomings, advocating for a message of love and forgiveness rather than one of condemnation. They contend that no one is perfect, and that the church should welcome all who seek solace and redemption, regardless of their past or present circumstances. In the face of such opposition, Jennings remains steadfast in his convictions, asserting that while the Bible indeed offers forgiveness and grace, it also demands repentance and transformation. He challenges the notion that one can continue in a lifestyle contrary to the teachings of Christ while still claiming to be a follower of Him. Jennings argues that true repentance involves a turning away from sin and a sincere commitment to live in accordance with God's commands. He maintains that while God's love is unconditional, his expectations for his followers are clear, and that genuine faith necessitates a willingness to surrender one's life to him completely. No, you can come to God the way you are, but uh, God won't accept the wrong that you bring him. You come to God as you are, dirty, filthy. But God don't accept your dirt. He brings the word of God to clean you up out of your dirt after you come to him. God will accept you the way you are. He ain't never told you that lie. But I just got hugged by Donnie McClurpin, Kirk Franklin, 
I got the Clark Sisters. I can name all these legends. Rance Allen, these are elders and legends in the game. If they don't have a problem with it, you shouldn't either. Nah. And if you do, what's happening? Yeah, I said it. What's happening? What about you? Have you checked your status? Are you, you going to heaven? Why are you judging me? How much work have you put in for the Lord? Hmm. Reverend. Well, you come to God like you are, yes. But God don't accept the way you are. He won't tolerate it. He won't stand for it. You gonna come dirty, filthy of the devil, but he ain't accepting that filth. He ain't accepting that dirt. Why? He's God. He ain't got to come down to your level. He set a standard that you gotta come up to. Amidst the heated debate, Jennings stands firm in his belief that God, through the scriptures requires more than just lip service. It requires a genuine commitment to holiness and righteousness. He implores Snoop Dogg and others to consider the gravity of their choices and the eternal consequences of living a life contrary to God's will. In the face of opposition and criticism, Gino Jennings continues to advocate for all churches to be rooted in both grace and truth. He acknowledges the complexity of human nature and the struggles that individuals face, yet he remains steadfast in his belief that true faith requires a genuine commitment to living according to God's standards. Jennings acknowledges that the concept of come as you are is indeed a foundational aspect of the Christian church, but he emphasizes that it is only the beginning of the journey. He argues that while God accepts us in our brokenness, he also calls us to a higher standard of living. A standard that requires ongoing growth, repentance, and transformation. Rather than condemning those who are struggling or living in sin, Jennings offers a message of hope and redemption. He reminds believers that no one is beyond the reach of God's love and forgiveness, and that true transformation is always possible through faith and surrender to God's will. In the midst of controversy and disagreement, Jennings remains committed to his mission of proclaiming the uncompromising truth of the gospel. He stands as a beacon of light in a world that is often clouded by confusion and compromise, urging believers to hold fast to their convictions and to pursue holiness with unwavering determination. Jennings' message is one of love, grace, and accountability. He challenges believers to live lives that are worthy of their calling, and to strive for a deeper relationship with God that transcends superficiality and complacency. In doing so, he offers a compelling vision of a true Christian that is both relevant and transformative in today's world. In boldly confronting individuals who claim to be Christians but haven't changed their behaviors. Gino Jennings passionately illustrates how some still engage in the same activities they did before professing faith, like singing and dancing in ways reminiscent of their club days. His challenge sparks a powerful call to action, urging listeners to align their actions with their faith and make meaningful transformations in their lives. The music in a so-called Christian concert, it ain't no different no from the concerts you go to. No. They get up there and do the same thing like in a world concert. Yeah. Somebody come at the microphone, here we go, here we go, come on, here we go, here we go, come on, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. And you got all the Christian audience out there. That's right. That's what you do. That's what they do at the concert. In other words, your singing and your dance don't change. No difference. You mean to tell me the Holy Ghost come upon you mm. and your dance by the Holy Ghost is the same thing you did with James Brown? <laughs> Amen. My Leviticus Lord. 10 and 10 says put a difference. And that you may put difference, that you may put difference between, holy between holy and unholy and, unholy and between unclean and, unclean and clean. It ain't a person on the planet that claims there's some Christian going to tell me you ain't supposed to be different. You're supposed That's to be right. different in walk and talk and look and look. character and attitude and everything. everything. Gino Jennings doesn't shy away from addressing the negative impact of influential figures, such as Snoop Dogg, who profess to be a Christian but continue to lead lifestyles contrary to Christian teachings. He highlights how such public figures' actions can confuse and mislead others, causing harm to the perception of the church and the spiritual journey of those looking for genuine guidance. By shedding light on these discrepancies, Jennings challenges individuals to reflect on their own lives and strive for authenticity in their faith walk, emphasizing the importance of aligning beliefs with actions for a more impactful Christian witness. Gino Jennings brings attention to the stark contrast between the professed faith of influential figures like Snoop Dogg and their actual lifestyles, 
urging believers to examine their own lives and ensure consistency between their beliefs and actions. By confronting these discrepancies head-on, he encourages individuals to uphold the true essence of who a Christian truly is, and serve as authentic examples to others. Through his teachings, Jennings emphasizes the significance of aligning one's faith with righteous conduct, ultimately fostering a more profound and impactful expression of the Christian faith within society. In the midst of controversy and confusion, Jennings emerges as a voice of clarity and conviction, reminding us all of the transformative power of faith and the imperative of living in accordance with our beliefs. Through his courageous stance, he reminds us that true Christians not just wear the label, but it is a lifestyle to be lived with sincerity and purpose. In the end, Jennings' message serves as a rallying cry for authenticity and accountability within the Christian community. He challenges believers to examine their own lives and to strive for a deeper, more meaningful relationship with God. One that is characterized by obedience, humility, and genuine transformation. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.